Hi guys, it's Riley and I am back today with another video for you and if you couldn't already tell by how I look and the title, it's all about pet regression. Now I have not made a proper video really explaining what pet regression is. I have made some videos about it, but they're more so of just me in the headspace. So I wanted to give a little bit of an informational video for those of you who might not be familiar with it. So let's get started. Well, first off, we have to ask, what is pet regression? Pet regression can be a few different things, but to put it very simply, it's when somebody goes into the headspace of an animal. And you may be saying, why is it called a regression? You can't regress to something you've never been. This is true. There are other terms that are used for pet regression, like critter hearted, but due to inner community discourse on different social media platforms, a lot of us find that while it's it's not actually a regression because you can't regress to something you've never been. That is the most accurate way to describe it, especially when you compare it to things like age regression. Pet regression can also be when somebody is age regressing and kind of embodies traits of a specific animal or likes to dress up as a specific animal. Or it can be a headspace unrelated to age regression where it is just you going into the headspace of an animal. Pet regression like age regression is 100% safe for work and non-kink. It's not to be confused with kinks and BDSM communities like pet play. Those are role play communities and they are usually very sexuality and kink based and they are also strictly 18 plus. Whereas pet regression is an actual headspace you get into. It's not like a subspace in BDSM. A lot of times people will pet regress to relieve stress because they're going through a really tough time and one of the only ways that they can get it out is to just let loose. And pet regressing can really help with that. When people pet regress, they are in the mindset of an animal. And it may be hard to pinpoint exactly what that is, but it differs for everybody. Just like with age regression, everybody's experience with pet regression is different. And pet regressors can be the pet space of any animal, real or fictional. For example, my two pet head spaces that I am aware of right now are puppy and a bear cub. But there could be people who regress to kittens, cats, cows, bats even. No animal is off limits to pet regression. Pet regressors also usually exhibit traits of the animal that they're embodying. So for example, puppies are usually very playful, kittens can be curious, and bunnies could enjoy munching on veggies and hopping around. But again, if you have the headspace of a certain animal but don't embody a lot of those stereotypical traits, that's okay. Pet regression is what you make it. Some pet regressors may use specific items to help aid them in their headspace, like ears or collars, even little pet toys. It can help the pet regressor feel more like the genuine animal and can help them feel a lot more comfortable and safe in their headspace. There are loads of shops online that sell gear for pet regressors or cosplayers. My ears are from Amethyst Ears. I will link them down below. Go check them out and use code Riley. On occasion, pet regressors will also have handlers, and that can take on a very similar role to a caregiver for an age regressor. Handlers take care of their pet regressor the way that they would an actual animal. Similarly to how caregivers in the age regression community treat their regressors like actual children. Plus, it can be nice to have somebody there when you're in a headspace like that. It can make you feel safe and comfortable. So a handler might not even do much for you, just be someone that you really enjoy being around in the headspace. And again, I cannot iterate this enough. This is 100% non-kink and non-sexual. If there are sexual feelings, sexual urges, it is not pet regression. Pet regression, like age regression, is a very therapeutic practice. 
It can be used by trauma survivors, people with mental illness, people with disabilities, people who want to relieve stress and have some fun, but it is never sexual. People can also pet regress just because they've always felt a strong connection to an animal. All of these are valid reasons to pet regress. Just like age regression, there is no rules to it. The only guideline is that it is non-kink and non-sexual. Some of the most common pet regression animals I have seen are cats and kittens, dogs and puppies, bunnies and rabbits, dragons, cows, and pigs. But like I said, any animal, I mean any animal, can be an animal you pet regress to. I hope this video was informational for you or that you enjoyed it. And if you did, pretty please subscribe to this channel because I post new videos all about age regression and pet regression over here a couple of times a week. But if you want to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. If you want to help support me and my content, I have a Ko-Fi and a wishlist linked in the description, as well as links to all the shops I promote for if you want to spoil yourself. Just make sure to use my code. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you soon. Goodbye!